So this will be Gabby Petito, something I don't usually do. Um, if you like the video, I hope you do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Uh, I, ask, I typically ask uh, folks who make a comment um, uh, if they have a question for the cards. And uh, Elizabeth Higgins uh, had several about this uh, Gabby Petito uh, case, and um, so I thought I'd address those. I haven't done anything like this before. I don't uh, like doing this, I don't think. I did uh, some research on what happened. I just wikied the uh, Gabby Petito case, and there's a lot there. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of information there, not much. It really, uh, let's see what happens. So this one's a little difficult. Um, this is a viewer uh, question, but I kind of solicited the question. Uh, Elizabeth Higgins, thank you very much, as a matter of fact. Um, uh, and Elizabeth, I believe, is an Aussie, so terrific. So I'll tell you just what I found on Wiki. Uh, and just uh, there's about a couple of pages here, and it's it's pretty uh, interesting. Uh, so Gabrielle Venora Petito was born on March 19, 1999. Uh, she was a Pisces, and an American woman who disappeared between August 27 and 30th, 2021, while she was on a van life trip uh, across the United States with her fiance Brian Christopher Laundry. Now, he returned from Wyoming to Florida alone on September 1st in their 2012 Ford Transit uh, Connect van and refused to talk about uh, her whereabouts. Uh, her remains were found in Bridger Teton National Forest in Wyoming on, on September 19th, 2021. An autopsy determined that uh, her death was a homicide. There's police body camera footage of a domestic dispute between the couple, and there's a 911 emergency dispatch call recording and eyewitness accounts that were made on social media platforms. Uh, his parents said he went hiking in a nearby forest preserve on September 14th. He has not been seen since. And on September 22nd, the February uh, the FBI issued a warrant for his arrest on charges of debit fraud after he made withdrawals using um, her card, presumably. Now, Gabrielle Venuto Petito is from Blue Point, New York, and she met her fiance, Brian Christopher Laundry while they were attending Bay Point, uh, Blue Point High School Bayport Blue Point High School in Long Island in Suffolk County, uh, New York. Now, in 2017, she graduated from high school, and in 2019, they began dating and moved in together with uh, his parents in Northport, Florida. She's the eldest of six sibling, siblings and uh, worked in uh, in Florida as a pharmacy uh, technician, and that's how she saved money for the trip. She, she saved money for the trip. And then 2020, uh, the two got engaged. And then uh, on June 17th, 2021, they were both in Blue Point for Petito's brother's graduation ceremony. So I guess they went back to where... Uh, they grew up. On July 2nd, 2021, they departed from Blue Point in a 2012 Ford Transit Connect van uh, converted into a camper for a four-month cross-country uh, van dwelling uh, trip. The couple doc documented their trip on Petito's YouTube account as well as their uh, Instagram accounts. On August 12, 2021, a witness called 911 uh, claiming that a couple was fighting in the town of Moab, uh, Utah, in front of the Moonflower Community Cooperative. The witness told the dispatcher that they had seen a man slap a woman. Uh, the two ran up and down the sidewalk. The man hit the woman again. The man hit the woman again and then drove off. Later, a separate witness described other parts of the Moonflower incident, incident in a statement to police and said that Petito and Laundry were talking aggressively and that Petito was punching him in the arm. The witness said it looked like Laundry was trying to leave Petito and take her phone with him before Petito eventually climbed into the driver's seat moved over into the passenger seat and asked, why do you have to be so mean? And uh, they drove off. Uh, police forced a traffic stop of their van near the entrance to Arches National Park and found Petito crying heavily in the passenger seat where she told officers she was struggling with personal uh, issues. The responding officer wrote in his report that at no point in the investigation did she stop crying, stop breathing heavily, or compose a sentence without needing to wipe away tears, wipe her nose, rub her knees with her hands. You know how you do when you're nervous. 
Petito told the officer they had been arguing over uh, her excessive cleaning of the van, telling the officer that some days I have really bad OCD, and I was just cleaning and straightening up, and I was apologizing to him, saying that uh, I'm so mean because sometimes I have OCD and get frustrated. And Petito's father said that um, the OCD diagnosis was not literally true. She was just using uh, slang. Body cam footage uh, from a separate officer was released on September 30th, and Petito first downplayed the physical altercation, but after the officer uh, points out and marks on her arms and face and tells her to just be honest, uh, she tells him that Laundry kept telling her to shut up and grabbed her face and uh, showed the officer a cut uh, that she had uh, from it saying that it burned. Petito told the officer that uh, she hit him first and asked the officers not to separate them. Laundry told the officer that Petito, Laundry, Laundry told the officer that she gets really worked up and that he was just trying to push her away. Uh, he said they'd been arguing uh, and that emotional tension had been building due to traveling together for four to five weeks. Both agreed that uh, Petito had struck laundry. She was concerned that he would leave her alone and, and stranded after he got in the van. And uh, in the report, the officers wrote that the male tried to create distance by telling her to take uh, a walk to calm down. She didn't want to be separated from the male and began slapping him. Uh, he grabbed her face and pushed her back as she pressed upon him and the van. Neither Petito nor Laundry wanted to press charges as a result of the incident, and the police arranged for Laundry, for him, to spend a night at the motel, Bowen Motel in Moab, and for Petito, her, to stay in the van, uh, separating the two after characterizing the incident as a mental, uh, emotional health break instead of domestic violence. On August 24, 2021, Petito stayed at a Fairfield Inn uh, and Suites Hotel near Salt Lake City International Airport, and Petito's mother said that her daughter had told her they were traveling from Salt Lake City to Yellowstone National Park and had just uh, received a FaceTime call from her. Okay, she just received a FaceTime call from her on August 24th, and Petito says she was in Grand Teton National Park in Western Wyoming. And then on August 25th, the final post was made from her Instagram account of photos in front of a butterfly mural outside of a restaurant in Ogden, Utah. Text messages also continue to be sent from her phone to her mother until August 30th. On August 27th, a text sent to her mother said, can you help Stan? I just keep getting uh, his uh, voicemails and missed calls. The text raised concerns for Petito's mother who said Stan was her grandfather and uh, she never referred to him by his first name. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Scarabio cards. And I gotta tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with a magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that they're, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and, and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are are very nice. The um, I've not put them in the box well. The a little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of uh, a very uh, shaded uh, color here and there. Um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you can have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And, um, that way, uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Some cards that I love, love, love using. Okay, so Gabby Petito. I'm going to see if we can get some answers for Elizabeth Higgins, who wants to know about this. Looking for help from Gabby on this, really. Looking for help from Gabby. So the question is going to be, uh, there's several, and we'll start out with, um, where is Brian Laundry? 
for this. The cards don't want to work. So we'll just take our time and see if these cards can start to come through for us. Gabby Petito, can you help? Can you help us? Where it is? Brian. I'm going to take just three cards to get started with this. One, two, and three. Okay, so can you tell us where Brian is? Well, this is a great big offer of value. So this is the uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Pentacles are value, worth, sometimes money. But um, I think this is a uh, this is a big yes card. Can you tell us where he is? Second card for this. Okay. So this is the Devil card. The Devil is chained to poor intentions, and uh, this seems as if we're on the right track. Final card, can you tell us where he is? And this is the number three card. This is the Empress. Oh, no, this is the Three of Cups, as a matter of fact. So the Three of Cups, and this is uh, abundance, this tells us. But that doesn't quite give us an answer, does it? So try a little bit more. Can you tell us exactly where he is? We've got a Yes card. We have Chain to the Devil. And we have the Three of Cups, which is Celebrations. Is he um, he's still in Florida, I wonder. Two more. One. And two. So for me, so far this is telling me, because my question is, can you tell us where Brian is? And I get a yes card. I get the exchange of the devil, and I get celebrations. So this tells me that yes, that she can tell me where he is. The next card out of the pact is the emperor. The emperor is all knowing. And the final card is the nine of pentacles. I had drawn a few cards on this ahead of time, and this was a significant card uh, when I drew uh, earlier. Okay. This is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is uh, a lot of issues, a lot of movement. And uh, this card, as a matter of fact, is a little swampy looking. It may not mean a thing. It's called Swiftness. The next card I get for this is the Princess of Swords. This is like a page of swords. This is a page of truth and justice. This is a woman holding that, uh, that card, so I have to say this must be Gabby. This is Judgment. So this is near the end of the uh, um, Fool's Journey. And uh, Judgment uh, makes me think uh, of, of course, our, our eternal judgment. Next card for this is the High Priestess. The High Priestess tells us to use our intuition. She's all-knowing and wise. My intuition tells me he's in the Appalachian Trail. Ah, and the final card for this is the Ace of Swords, and it's a big yes. That's the um, Ace of uh, Swords, Ace of Truth, and Justice. So I would say that uh, my question was, can you tell us where he is? I got a big yes card. Chain to the Devil. Celebrations, the Three of Cups Celebrations. I don't know how this fits in. Then we get the Emperor, which is the number four in the Major Arcana. Not sure how that fits in. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. For me, this is Brian trying to um, be the Knight, the value, uh, the Knight of his value. Then we get the Eight of Wands, which is a lot of issues coming uh, on at the same time. I feel like this could be the issues he's having uh, staying hidden. Then we get the Princess of Swords. This looks like this is Gabby actually coming forth with the truth. Then I get the Judgment card. 
Uh, judgment card tells me that um, judgment is coming. Then we have the High Priestess, which is using her intuition, which prompted me to suggest that he's in the Appalachians, on the Appalachian Trail. And then I get the uh, the big yes card, the Ace of Swords. So let's make a note right here where I say Appalachian Trail. Okay, we're going to take these cards back up. We'll move on to the next question Elizabeth had, which is how much do the parents and the family know? So let me put these cards back in. This is not uh, something that I would um, normally try to read on, but then I'm fairly new at this. So I'm just using my intuition to decide how far to go with this. So the next question is how much do the parents and the family no this would be the parents and the family of Brian obviously how much do the parents and the family know how much do the parents and the family know three cards for how much do the parents and the family know Okay. This is the King of Wands. You know, Wands are planning. The King of Wands is completely in charge of his actions. And uh, I would say that uh, the head of the family um, helped with his plan. The second card is a Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, again, is planning. The Knight is making action on the plans. And again, I'm going to say this has to be Brian carrying out, agreeing to carrying out the plan of the Father. Oh. The final card is the Ten of Swords, stabbed in the back, and this is Ruin. So the question was, how much do the family know? They know everything. This is, this is akin to death. Okay? How much do the family know? It looks like the Father helped with the plan. The son is carrying out the plan. And how much do they know? They know everything. Okay. Are they helping him on the run? Are they helping him? His family, are they helping him on the run? Is the family helping him on the run? Is the family helping him? on the run. I just want to make a note here. Father, Son, Ruin. Are they helping him on the run? Three cards. One, two, three. Just in case those cards came out for a reason. So, is the family helping him on the run? This is the Empress. The Empress is fertile. I'm going to say this has to be the mother. Okay. Second card is victory. Okay, this is very interesting. Third card is a Six of Swords. Moving out of troubled water. Are they helping him on the run? Yes, they are. This is the mother. I think they see victory. And they're helping him move out of troubled water. But we did have three more cards that seemed to want to slide out of the pack. I'm going to turn them over. They may have no meaning whatsoever. Um, are they helping him uh, on the run? The next question I was going to have was, will they get him? But I think this is more along with, are they helping him on the run? Ah, emotionally. Great big ace of cups. Yeah, they're a big emotional support. This is a six of cups. And this is remembering the way things were typically. And this card is referred to as pleasures. But yeah, I would say this is still the mother wishing things were the way they were. And then the final outcome for are they helping him on the run? Great strength. Yep. 
This is the Nine of Wands. This is really embattled. This uh, figure is really uh, through the ringer. This almost even looks like a dark forest. So, yes, they're helping him on the run. Okay, the final card. When will they get him? I just had an urge that this will be just one card. When will they get him? When will they get him? Uh, strife. This is the Five of Wands. So the Wands are the plans. This is reminiscent of a campfire. And these are the plans going up in smoke. This is the Five of Wands. So I think they're going to get him somewhere uh, along the, uh, the number of five. And it may be that his camp is discovered. So five. Could be five days, five weeks, five months. Five days, five weeks, five months. I'm going to say this is either five days or five weeks. Last question. Let me write that down. Yes, are they up and going to run? Five weeks, five days. And the last card, did he do it? Last card, did he do it? Last card, did he do it? Look at that. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This speaks to family. King of Wands. King of Wands. The King, Wands are the plan, and this is the King of the plan. This is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups on this card is calling this material happiness. Final card for Did He Do It? The Three of Pentacles working together for a common cause. Did He Do It? Let's review these cards carefully. The Ten of Pentacles speaks to strong family, okay? The only thing I can say is that this couple was uh, consider, considering themselves a family. His family is where they lived before they started on this trip. The King of Wands, for me, this is um, now Brian having carried out that plan or carrying out that plan. Material happiness. This is the Nine of Cups. Referred to as the greedy merchant. And cups are, are just awash with emotions. And then the final card is the Three of Coins. Material work. Just one more card. A broken heart. Sorrow. Yep, he did it. So just to recap um, Elizabeth's questions, um, she asked, where is Brian Laundrie? And uh, I got the intuition that's the Appalachian Trail. How much do the parents and the family know? The father helped him with the plan to escape. Brian, the son, is carrying out the plan. And um, it will end in ruin. Are they helping him on the run? My interpretation of the cards is yes. And uh, when will they get him? Five weeks or five days? And did he do it? And finally, a broken heart.
three swords. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.